Hi everyone, this is Julie Roth Novak. I am the CEO and co founder of Party Slate. I am very excited today on our Instagram Live. We are inviting the one and only executive chef uh, Fabio Viviani. I am so excited to have him. I don't know how many Top Chef fans there are out there, but I know it's one of my favorite shows. And I know, hold on one second, I'm inviting him in. Um, I know that I always wish that I could be a chef and, and cook as well as he and have these incredible restaurants. So one of my favorite restaurants in Chicago is Sienna Tavern. Um, I am going to invite him in right now. This is where I always hope and pray that um, it works. Um, Fabio is joining us right this minute. This is where I stretch things out to let him in. The connection is working. Yay! Hey there! I'm excited! How are you? I am so excited to have you on Insta Live today with Party Slate. Um, Thank you. I, you have a lot of fans at our office that are cheering you on. And not only do you have restaurants all over the country, you have a fabulous cookbook, and you've been on every talk show imaginable. I saw you were on Ellen. <laughs> I love Ellen. Yeah, and we've done quite a few of them. Quite a few. I'm just excited to have you. I know Party Slate is, for those of you who are new to Party Slate, is a platform that features private event spaces, event professionals, and uh, beautiful events from all over the country, really all over the world. And some of your restaurants have the most amazing private dining spaces. Yes. And I aspire one day soon to have an event at one of your restaurants. So thank you, you for got, joining us. You got a good connection there. All you got to do is ask. Okay, good. All right. Well, I'm not afraid to use connections. So Please. Uh, but first of all, just uh, many people are fans of yours from the show, um, but also love following you um, on social media. Tell us a little bit about your founding story and how you built your brand to be this incredible, um, I would say, not only national brand, but global brand. No pressure. So, um, we, this is a 41 years old uh, long story that I'll sum it up in just a few minutes. I was born and raised in Italy in uh, 78, yeah. um, 41 years old. I was in Italy owning and operating restaurants since the age of 18. Okay. Um, I, I went to work a lot sooner than that, but I opened my first restaurant when I was 18. And since then, I always loved to focus the attention on process, procedure, and the whole um, entertainment aspect of hospitality. Uh, so throwing great parties, gathering together, and, and so on. In 2005, I moved to the United States, sold my company in Italy, moved to the United States, thinking I was going to do a vacation. Yeah. Now, clearly the vacation <laughs> turned into what was like a lifetime of hard work and no, and no pause or no vacation. But uh, And now we own and operate, aside from... Uh, partnering in Chicago uh, with some great operator dynamic group are my Chicago partner in Siena Tavern, Bar Siena, Prime and Provision, Bomba Bar, uh, and a few other concepts. I own and operate um, over three dozen of venue around the nation. Yes. Um, on top of that, we have some hotels, we have some uh, event venue, and because of all this, you know, craziness that is going on in the world in the last few months, we are also getting more and more specialized. So, in entertaining people in the virtual space, yes. both for corporate parties and partner like you, as well as charity and many others. So, you know, it's it's been an, a, a thirty years in the making evolution. Yes. So, it wasn't and, an uh, overnight success. No, and and you know. <laughs> A lot of people associate myself with TV, you know, they, they use what I call the, the, the C word, the celebrity. I, I hate the word celebrity okay. because I think celebrity, they do a lot of TV, but they, they I, I do a lot of grind, hardcore, 7 a.m. midnight work in the restaurants. Yes. And once in a while, I happen to play TV, uh, TV chef. Yes. But, but that's not my most days. That, that's how my most days go. So, you know, that brings exposure, exposure, bring responsibility, connection, opportunity. And that's why I was very blessed uh, to, to do well and look all right. In, in some of the show that in some of the show that we did and, and that one thing lead to another now we you know we serve literally millions of customers in our restaurant every year and we do thousands of events from all sides from little private 
10 people uh, intimate event in, in my personal living room of my house to, you know, Instagram live and virtual cooking classes for 3,000 people for Fortune 500 company. Yeah. We do them all. That's amazing. And, and um, you know, because of COVID-19 and the situation we're in, I've been really impressed with how your restaurants and your own personal brand has adjusted to the new time. And yeah. obviously, so many restaurants are hurting right now. We want to support restaurants in any way we can, small business. Yeah. Um, tell us about some of the things you're you're doing now that, that are helping people stay connected to ama- amazing culinary experiences. You know, it's, it's really pivoting, right? Because what we do for a living, it's all about human connection and yeah. interaction. You know, we got to host you in our restaurant because we have experience in doing so because we're very good at it and because we we get the whole establishment ready to welcome like if it was your second home yes. right now that's gone so we have to create the experience from remote from the moment you order to the moment we deliver the food to what you think about the food 30 minutes after you're done eating it from a restaurant perspective and from a virtual perspective the same things you know uh, i used to be able to uh, you know, send you by grocery and, and do a cooking class with you over the internet. Right now, we have organized ourselves with our facility to ship meal kit uh, overnight. And so it's a lot of adjusting, a lot of pivoting. But the one thing I can tell you is that people in restaurant business are some of the hardy, most bottle tested people in the whole universe. Yes. And, uh, a lot of people are hurting right now, but I want to believe that with some help that has to come from up above, yeah. most of us will be able to navigate through this time and come out of the other end bent but not broken completely. You know, and uh, it's unfortunate because it's it's you know we have built a business about culture and culture about taking care of people, yeah. and the first people we take care of is our employees. So yeah. it pains me and it kills me to know that because of decision we didn't make and because of circumstances we are not in control of, yes. we can't be the people that provide for those family by having our business open. Yes. And as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a dad, as a husband, as a it, it is shredding my inside. So we're, we're fighting hard to keep the money coming in the business alive, the employee paid, the customer engaged, whether it's through a virtual class uh, that feeds, uh, you know, five people behind the camera to take out in our restaurant, like yeah. Santa Tavern and Prime Provision in Chicago, or, you know, anything literally that we can do to help the industry without forgetting that we are literally at the forefront of this gigantic battle because we are also, you know, my restaurant between Chicago and other states in the last 45 days have served over 100,000 free meal to first responder, people on the line, and, and, and employed. They, honestly, overnight, they couldn't afford the meal. Yeah. They come to our restaurant, they eat for free, they take the food home for their family, and it's a brutal new reality that we're trying to navigate, and hopefully we will get out of the other side yeah. really soon. Yeah, I think um, the events industry, the restaurant industry, travel. So, I mean, no one is, is not touched by yeah. this pandemic that we're going through. But I, I am inspired by all the innovation and the new things that people are doing to yeah, not only stay crafty. alive, but, you know, to be stronger on the other side, whether it's a stronger brand or stronger relationships. Yeah. I, I really admire all the things that you guys are doing. There is, uh, you know, they're always saying that time, money, customer ideas those are all resources yes and the lack of success in comebacks it's never due to the lack of resources it's due to the lack of resourcefulness yes which is the ability as an entrepreneur to find resources yes. when people think there is none available yes and that's what we're good at you know i have to i have to give all the all the credits to my team my folks because i work with some incredible human being from yes. from a personal perspective from a professional perspective and like i said you know we're trying our hardest to take care of an industry to the point that look uh, aside from a business partner of dynamic which are 
you know, both Lucas and David are incredible operators. I have the, the luck and the fortune, the privilege really, to work with incredible operator across the nation. Yes. And and the whole Fabio Viviani hospitality team, which is something that, by the way, we're going to start to release next week. Um, my website right now, FabioViviani.com, is under, we're doing some little graphic remodeling. So, But starting next week, for anyone in the industry, and I'm talking about small operators, yes. anyone that has a restaurant, a bakery, a small hotel, a bread and breakfast, if you work in hospitality, and in a week from now, you don't know what's going to happen in 30 days, you don't know how to come back, you don't know how to market the new reality, you don't know how to do social media about it, you don't know what's the legal implication of something, how do I deal with HR, how do I deal with process and procedure, I got to adjust my recipe. Anything you could ever need, starting from next week, you can go to FabioViviani.com and my company, literally the 100% of Fabio Viviani hospitality, head of operation, manager, anyone that work under my umbrella will provide services to anyone in the industry that needs them at no cost. And this is not an appeal for a customer. Yeah. This is a, a me telling everybody, we're here, we're here to help. Just instead of shutting your business down, give up. Yes. You have the full force of a hus- one of the fastest growing, most prepared hospitality company in the United States right now, which is my company. And you have our 100% support and no cost. That's amazing. So if you need financial advice, legal consulting, HR, marketing, graphic design, reach out to me. We're here for you. That's the only way to come on the other side. Yeah, I think we all have to, you know, band together. And I, we like to talk about giving forward and, and know that somehow it will come back in karma and, and relationships. And, and, and we, we have to do that to support each other. I know at Party Slate, we're doing uh, weekly digital kind of training and educational yeah. events that have been hugely successful because, again, all small businesses needing help, now is the time to invest in your digital brand and your digital relationships. You know, it's unfortunate because I've learned this lesson very early on in my career. Um, any smart operator, no matter what the industry you're working in, they got to try to live their life in anticipation, not reaction. Because yeah. if you're reacting, you're too late to the game. Yes. And I have built my business anticipating what could go wrong. Mm-hmm. I didn't see this. Sh- I didn't see this coming. Yeah, didn't Sorry, <laughs> but I didn't. Okay, I've been through I, September 11th. I've been through 2008, and I, I could not have anticipated this. I just didn't. I was not. I was not in the United States 9/11 that day. I was still in Italy. Came to the United States in 2005. I was thriving in 2008 and 2009 because what we did when everybody was running, we we hit the problem forefront and we team up with a bunch of people struggling and we help them through yes. the, the, you know, the housing crash in 2009 yeah. and everything. Um, so we came out strong and bigger and better. I didn't see these things coming. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't see it. And I consider myself a good one out there. You know, one of the good ones out there. I didn't see it coming. So now that we have to react and learn how to anticipate what next Yes, we're trying to do that as we teaching, as we teaching everybody how to do that, and helping everybody how to do. That. So please, if you're watching this live stream or you know someone that need help with the restaurants, and I'm not saying financial help because financial help there are tools that you can get there. We're right. talking about consulting service know how yeah. from here to your brain on yeah. how to navigate because. You're, you're a single owner, you just opened your restaurant, you don't know what the hell you're doing, and you're just about to give up, don't reach out to us. There's going to be somebody with a boatload of experience. The worst case scenario is going to give you a better perspective. Yes. And best case scenario, we can help you navigate the next three, six, nine months. That's and great. it's not going to cost anything to you. And people, when I say that, they think I'm crazy. They say, "Why would you? what's your motive? Why would you do that? Because if I didn't get helped in my career, I wouldn't be what I am today. Yes, so I, I while, completely agree. Pay it forward, while, you're helping people, and yeah. we'll come back to you, and it feels good. My, my other question to you is, how do you think the restaurants are going to open back up, and how will events, in, in your perspective, no one can predict this, but what's your sense on the reopening and how that will 
work so, in your world? Uh, you know, you always wish that you were the one making the rules because yes. what it seemed like that who's making rules for restaurants right now never operated one. Yes. And that's a disaster because it would be like me, you know, come up with legislation that affect doctors or yes. teachers. Right. I don't know how you guys work. I'm not one of you, right? right. You're not Dr. So, Fauci, right? C correct. I, I wouldn't know what to say. So yeah. the reality is that I wish there was more dialogue between the people that make the rules and the people that get affected by them. Yes. Um, whatever they do, we have to think about the safety of our customers and employees, but we got to reopen the economy. Yeah. There is going to be far more repercussion in trying to keep the whole country shut down for another two, three, four, six months hmm. than what could be if we try to reopen safely and with measure in place that not going to harm anybody. Yes. You know, um, you already reading everywhere that while uh, we are handling in a, in a decent way the response for the actual virus, there are a lot of situations where uh, people are going broke. So, and economy is hurting, 20 million job loss. United States hospitality business is the largest employee yes. in the United States. Privately owned restaurants, United States hospitality restaurant business, we employ 11 million people. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, while, and while every business needs to be helped, needs to be bailed out because most business didn't, didn't want to close, Yes. We were forced to do so. We have to come up with real solution, which is not a short-term loan or a short-term help. You know, that everything help, and that's great. But the challenge is going to start when we can get back to work. Yes. Right now, the, the issue is limited to figure out how to pay for those people that have loss of income. Yeah. But when we reopen those 20, 30, 40, 50 million people that don't have jobs right now, the real risk is that they can get back to work because although they might get support for now, yes. the minute that we reopen, half of those business, they're not going to be there anymore because there is no money to reopen. There is nothing. So it's a hard call and, and probably is way above my pay grade. Right. There's no right answer. Yeah. There is no right answer because if you reopen too fast, then you risk lives. If you stay close any longer, you're still going to risk lives. But there has got to be a better way to go about it. And I just wish there was more communication yes. with people, between people that make the laws and people that get affected by the laws that they're made. And unfortunately, right. there is very little to no conversation about. Yes, and and so as you move forward, um, you know, and the economy starts, you know, opening up again, and, and people can yeah. celebrate. Or, you know, we think smaller events obviously will come back first, and I know we're really excited at Party Slate on some really creative ideas that event professionals yeah. come up with to have these smaller celebrations. And we started a hashtag called Celebrate Soon, and, and we're really hopeful that even if it's ten of us or fifty of us, you know, we, we will be able to celebrate soon. So yeah. my question to you is. You know, what are you looking forward to celebrating soon? I just want to take my wife out for dinner. Yeah. For to begin with, look, yeah. I love every. The, the, you gotta find positive in things. Yes. Even as something as crazy as we're going through right now, a yes. lot of life lesson, a lot of business lesson to be learned, a uh, lot of uh, personal lesson as far as you know, as far as getting to be better as a dad, as a husband, as a person in the house. Or yes. There's a million things that when you travel 300 days a week, 300 days a year like I do, you don't see. You don't see sometimes how much somebody at home really contribute to the household or how much work there is to do with a child or, yes. or things like that. So there is a new level of appreciation for relationship and because your children and, and figured out the little things that you do miss when you work too much. Um, but I really look forward to taking my wife out for dinner. Yeah, it's a you know, small I'm even tired of my own cooking. I yeah. mean, seriously, it's like, and that's with Italian. You know, I just want to go What have you been some, cooking to stay inspired at lot. home? Right? You know, we, we, we only, you know, we, we order, um, we, we try to support local businesses by ordering some takeout here and there. But, you know, it's just like, I cook at home. I'm a chef. You know, what, yeah. what the hell? Why would yeah. I 
my wife is like, hello, I married you for the cooking skills, nothing else. So. <laughs> you better step it up. Yeah. And the accent. I think she might marry for the accent too. But, but aside from that, my wife actually can't cook. She just doesn't do it because why would she? Yeah. Um, she but I look too. forward to be able to take the wife out. I look really forward to be able to serve my customer. Yes. You know, what I've done my, throughout my whole career is because we took care of people. That came to eat to my restaurant, celebrated with us, and I can't literally wait to get back out and throw a big, safe party with people standing really far away from each other. Yes. But we got, gotta, yeah. we gotta Even get the back. Even the like on the driveway with six people. Yeah, I'm gonna need, no, it's it's I'm a win. Need a really big room because I want to invite a lot of people. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, <laughs> well, I, I will see again, your restaurants are so amazing, and many of them are featured, uh, the private event spaces on Party Slate, and we'll make sure to um, uh, share those with people when events start coming back. Um, Absolutely. We know your restaurants not only have amazing food, but also environment and ambiance and all those things that make a great event. Yeah, and, and look, we are serving meal right now um, for takeout, to, with Siena Tavern, Prime Provision. We had an incredible weekend, you know, for Mother's Day. Uh, by the way, happy belated Mother's Day to all the mom watching this. Yes. Um, and, and uh, you know, we, we just can't wait to get back. Yeah. We got to get back. We can't wait to get I, back. I am confident we will celebrate soon and we'll celebrate safely. And one thing yeah. we're committed to doing is not only supporting this industry, um, including, you know, hospitality and event professionals and venues, from a digital marketing perspective, but also reassuring people on how events will come back safely. So um, we really appreciate um, all the creative things you're doing. And um, again, supporting all these restaurants and consulting for free. Um, yeah. I'm just um, at, in awe of your generosity. And I really know the industry appreciates your leadership during this really challenging time. Thank you, guys. Well, we appreciate you putting together great events, great things. I look forward to to create some synergy and to do some stuff together, definitely. Great. And, uh, you know, we're very blessed and very humbled by the, the kind of uh, love and response that we are getting, the support that we are getting. And, and literally, every dollar we earn through our restaurant is helping a lot of people right now because the industry has been rough. It really has been. Yes. And uh, we are some, the one that got hit the hardest. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're, what a place of, we are a place of gathering. So if we can't gather, yes, it, it, our business model makes no sense any longer. Yes. So yeah. we appreciate the support. Everybody's watching. If you had order a meal anywhere in any hour restaurant all over the United States, thank you. Yes. That meal helped somebody put their food on their table. Yes. And I will say for the people that are not chefs like myself, I do know barely how to turn on the oven for pizza. Um, yes. I am so proud to support local restaurants and I'm a big yeah. fan of all your restaurants in Chicago. I have not been to the ones in other cities, but I, I hope to soon. And uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your leadership. It's and a pleasure. Stay safe. And um, I'm, I'm really honored to have this time with you. Thank you so much. I look forward to see you guys all soon out there. Not sure about big hugs, but for, uh, maybe a high five or something. Yes, or, sounds or a, good. Or an elbow bump. Elbow bump. You guys, enjoy. God bless. Stay safe. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank Thanks, you guys. everyone. Bye -bye. Visit us on Party Slate to learn more. Uh, we will celebrate soon and um, appreciate all your time. Thank you so much.